Assalamu alaikum. Tatia how? Today, let us continue with part 2, Reactivity of Metals. Do you agree that different metals have different reactivities towards oxygen? Exactly. Different metals react differently with oxygen. A metal reacts with oxygen to form a metal oxide. We can write this reaction in the form of general chemical equation. Metal plus oxygen produces metal oxide. The more reactive metal towards oxygen, the brighter, faster, and more vigorous the combustion of the metal. The reaction between a metal and oxygen can be carried out through this combustion experiment. Two spatulas of potassium manganate 7 crystals are placed in a combustion tube. A small quantity of glass wool is then placed inside the combustion tube to prevent potassium manganate 7 from spilling over. A spatula of metal powder, let's say zinc powder, is placed on a sheet of asbestos paper and put inside the combustion tube. The zinc powder is heated strongly and when the zinc powder has become very hot, potassium manganate 7 is heated strongly to supply oxygen gas. When the reaction has been completed, the combustion tube is set aside to cool and its contents are taken out. If we repeat the experiment with other metals, we can see the differences in the intensity of flame or glow. Magnesium burns very rapidly in oxygen and produces a very bright white flame and a white powder. This shows that magnesium is very reactive. In contrast, copper only glows wickedly when it reacts with oxygen produces a black powder. This shows us that copper is a very unreactive metal. Comparing zinc with iron and lead, zinc burns fairly bright and produces a yellow powder when hot and white powder when cold. Zinc is more reactive than iron and lead. Iron glows very brightly to produce a reddish brown powder meanwhile lead only glows brightly to form a brown powder when hot and a yellow powder when cold therefore we can conclude that iron is more reactive than lead the difference in the reactivity of metals when they react with oxygen enables us to obtain the reactivity series of metals. Reactivity series of metals is a list of metals arranged according to their chemical reactivity with oxygen. Metals high in the reactivity series are very reactive and react very vigorously with oxygen. Potassium is the most reactive of these metals. In another hand, gold is the most unreactive of these metals. How do we memorize all these metal arrangements in this series easily? Why don't we try a mnemonic method? Please stop 
calling me a zebra. I seriously like calling him as a smart guy. We can see that some elements have different symbols to their names. For example, potassium is derived from the English word potash. The chemical symbol K comes from kalium, which may have derived from the Arabic word koli, meaning alkali. And the symbol of PB comes from its Latin name plumbum, which stands for lead. It is useful to place carbon and hydrogen into the reactivity series of metals because these elements can be used to extract metals. For this time being, let us focus on carbon first. The position of carbon in the series of reactivity of metals can be determined based on the ability of carbon to take away oxygen from metal oxides. When carbon reacts with zinc oxide, carbon removes oxygen from zinc oxide to form zinc and carbon dioxide. When carbon can take away oxygen from metal oxide, then the carbon is more reactive than the metal. Hence, carbon is more reactive than zinc. There are times when carbon is unable to take away oxygen from metal oxides. In this case, no reaction is occurred. For example, when carbon reacts with aluminum oxide, no reaction is about to happen. When carbon cannot take away oxygen from metal oxide, then the carbon is less reactive than the metal. So, carbon is less reactive than aluminum. There will be no reaction when carbon react with aluminum oxide, but there will be a reaction when carbon react with zinc oxide. So, carbon is situated between aluminum and zinc. Thus, I can simply conclude that carbon is less reactive than aluminum but is more reactive than zinc. This is the experiment to determine the position of carbon in the reactivity series of metals. The mixture of carbon powder and zinc oxide are mixed uniformly. The mixture is heated strongly for a few seconds, then the Bunsen flame is removed and the mixture examined to identify whether it will continue to glow or not. All these steps are repeated using aluminum oxide and lead to oxide respectively. The reaction mixture between zinc oxide and carbon glows brightly, forming a gray solid. Carbon is more reactive than zinc. The reaction between aluminum oxide and carbon will give no visible change. Carbon is less reactive than aluminum. The reaction mixture between lead to oxide and carbon burns brightly forming a grayish black solid. Carbon is more reactive than lead. From this experiment, we can make a conclusion that carbon is located between aluminum and zinc. 
since carbon is already inserted into the reactivity series of metals, we need to alter the previous mnemonic method. Please stop calling me a cute zebra. I seriously like calling him as a smart guy.